guys, uh, today we're going to be going into a GPS guided missile tutorial. Now, this is my first GPS guided missile, so it won't be the greatest, and there are plenty of other ways to go over and build a missile, but I'm just going to show the way I learned it in the simplest way, uh, for me at least, to make the controller for the missile. Uh, so we can go in here. Uh, this is this is the working of the inside of the missile. It looks like a lot, but it's not that much, don't worry. So we have altitude, current X, current Y, target Y, target X, radar homing mode, fins yaw, compass sensor, roll sensor, fins roll, and fins pitch. So to set this all up, it's just, we're going to go into over here. And I'm gonna pull up a missile. There we go. So here's an example of one of the missiles I built that work with this. Uh, so current Y would be connected to a GPS that looks like this. If I can. Current Y is to GPS. Our target Y is gonna be the B of a keyboard. Compass sensor goes up to compass reading. Roll sensor goes to tilt, fins roll. Uh, wait, we'll get to that in a sec. So target X is gonna be just the A. So that's X, that's Y, and this is the target coordinates. And then ours are just the ones on the GPS. So current X is just the X value, the X coordinate for the GPS. So right here is our um, positioning on the map, and right here is the target positioning on the map. And then we're gonna cook up uh, radar homing mode is gonna go to uh, just active right here, and uh, fins yaw. It'll just go these, all of those, and then these two in the front right here. And the orientation for that is just positive on the left. Same thing down here, positive on the left, and then back here it's uh, negative on the left. Same thing for the bottom, it's uh, negative on the left, if you could see that. Uh, yeah, so that's just for the fins yaw. Fins roll is just gonna be these two right here, and then these two in the f back right here. So it's gonna be negative, negative, up, and negative up, and on the other side, it's positive up and positive up. So that's just gonna keep the missile stable. So instead of tilting, left and right it's gonna just stay uh flat and level with the ground so it's not like rolling all over the place um and there's that and then we have fins pitch which are just these two in the back which it's fairly simple um positive goes up positive goes up as you can see um make sure center of the mass is like uh relatively in the middle that's uh the ideal missile configuration uh, so you have all that. Uh, I'm pretty sure we set all that up. Let me just go through one more time. Uh, altitude, make sure that's just straight to a altitude sensor. Uh, everything else is hooked up. Okay, so that's how you hook it up. Um, now let's go into here. Oh, almost forgot one thing. For the radar, it's active whenever it's in radar homing mode, but have composite to uh, have the missile output to both these fins back here. There's gonna be fins back here, and this is for, I'll go into depth later, but uh, this is just for the radar homing mode. So positive down and negative to the, uh, going like right. So yeah, uh, let's go into here real quick. This is what we have. So we'll just start here. Target X, current X, target Y, current Y, roll sensor, compass sensor. So we'll just, we'll go over this right here. These four, this goes into a expression which looks like this right here. This is getting the distance from our current missile to the target position. So what we're doing is we're doing target X and we're subtracting that from um, the current X. So current X is going to A, target X is X. Uh, target Y is Y and current Y is B. So basically it's just target X minus current X and then target Y minus current Y. 
and that's going to get the distance. Uh, what we're trying to do is find the heading that we need to turn. This whole thing right here is finding the heading that we have to turn in order to get to the target. So right here, just put these in. We got that expression, that one, that one, and then that one. And these are just to get the values to a 0 to 360 degree heading instead of negative 1 to 1, which isn't helpful at all. So now that we have that, it's going to go into a PID controller. These are the what I've set. Um, this is for Finn's yaw, by the way. So this is for yaw, left and right. That's what I set for the PID. Um, and this is to set point. So the set point is the target heading that we have to turn in order to get to the target. The, the process variable is our current heading. So we're taking compass sensor and we're just converting that same thing, converting it to a zero to 360. So the first one is X times 360, 360 minus X. And this is just converting it to a zero to 360. So just make sure you get those down and that's going process variable and we already have set point. Uh, just have this as a constant on for the PID so it's always working. And this is going to control output to, it's technically you're just going straight to Finn's yaw, but since we have radar homing mode up here, which I'll talk about in a second, but uh, this is just getting the distance. Same thing, it's calculating the distance, um, the distance to the target just like this one, but this one's doing distance to heading. This one's just doing distance and it's taking that. So that's the formula right there going into uh, X divided by a thousand. And then it's just into here. And we have once the missile is within 2000 of whatever this distance measurement is, I don't know what it is yet, but whatever this measurement is, uh, once it's within 2000, it's going to switch. So this is going to be radar homing mode. This is going to switch the signal. So now it's going to be on, which is zero. So then the fins and yaw are going to go to zero. Same thing up here. As soon as that happens, it's going to switch this. So instead of having the PID controller control the pitch, um, it's just going straight to zero. So then as soon as we're in that range right here of 2000, then everything turns off. And the only thing that turns on is the radar homing mode. Okay. Uh, up here, let me go over this real quick. So, like I said, we have that for the radar homing mode. Um, we have up here, this is the, like, the altitude stuff. So, we take the altitude, that's our process variable, uh, and our set point. So, the altitude process variable is our current altitude, and that's what we're processing. Our set point is just set to 200, so 200 meters above sea level, which is what we want. It's You could change it to whatever you want, but I find that ideal for this type of missile. Um, and it's just going through, this is the PID stuff I've set up for it, so you might just want to copy that down and use this exact same stuff. Uh, you might have to tweak it depending on how big or small of a missile you're building, but yeah, that's just what I have for this. That's constant on because it's just the PID's always on. And that's going to the off signal of the numerical switch box, which controls the fin's pitch. So whenever this is off, if we're not within this threshold, which is just like, say we're regular coasting and we're like 10,000 kilometers away from the target, it's just going to be doing this. It's just going to hold our altitude. But as soon as, soon as um, we're within this, it's going to zero. So then it's not going to control at all. Uh, down here... We got to cover this. This is the roll sensor. So we're taking roll sensor, putting it into this PID. You might just want to copy that down because that's good for this. Uh, constant on like the rest. And it goes to a normal switch box. So it's off. Uh, so this is always going to be on unless we're within that set range. Then that's going to do nothing. So basically all this stuff works until we get within that 2,000, that 2,000, whatever this measurement is once we're in that 2000 uh like measured distance then it's gonna turn all the stuff off so none of the fins work only thing that works is radar homing okay now that we just went over that we're gonna come out here radar homing is hooked up just straight to a radar so it's just a small baby radar uh positive going to the left wait positive going to the right my bad and it's pointing just like that so as you can see um this is what we have. So I set it to 0 0.06 for FOVY, 0 0.13, 0, 0.01, 100 percent, and then have that at static. So effective range is about a thousand meters, which is close to what we set. Um, 
So we have that. Uh, we just covered all that. Uh, you don't have to worry about that. Uh, these, I have these emitter things so I can process video footage, but you don't have to do that either. That's totally not required. Uh, it's just so I can see where the missile's going. Uh, and then, yeah, what this is doing is it's just taking the missile output and it's going to these back two fins. And so as soon as it's within that distance, it's just going to be, the whole missile will be controlled by these two fins. And the fins on all these sides, like all these, they're not going to do anything anymore. They're just going to be set to zero. But these two are going to control the missile so it can hit the target accurately. So that's what we have going on. Uh, I just have a hard point connector right here, about like a little bit past the middle of it. But that's just to as soon as it activates like as soon as the missile is launched it's gonna trigger the booster which the booster is only at 10 percent and we have a fuel here fuel here and this is actually one here too uh so it's three things of fuel and it's only at 10 percent so it's gonna be pretty fuel efficient about 13 to 14 kilometers effective range uh so it's yeah it's relatively good for beginner missile uh so that's just as soon as that goes off it's going to trigger that and it's going to arm this uh the warhead i just have it set to 30 meters a second you could set it to like 20 or 10 but i just have it as 30 just so i'm not like you know hitting stuff and blowing up um make sure the tilt sensors put that way uh i think i covered everything else compass sensors facing just up towards the nose of the missile uh Oh yeah, the fins have positive down and negative to the right, as you can see for these two fin influences. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all I have to cover for that. So now let's uh, take an example here. This is an example. It's the same thing. Oh, sorry. It's the same thing. I just have it set up as on pivots and it's white instead of blue. So what you do is you're just going to set in the waypoint. So now we have the set waypoint, which is 8.4 kilometers, just directly over this way. Uh, so it's not the maximum range, it's just a range I've set. So we have that, and then uh, we just have the button up here. Press that. So as soon as you launch it... Okay, give me one sec. I need to aim it higher. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, make sure you aim it higher. Don't do the mistake I just did. It's because since this is at 10%, as soon as it launches, if it's like relatively flat or parallel to the ground, it's just gonna it drops a little bit and it's not gonna be able to gain enough speed to pull up. So you have to aim it extra high. Uh, probably right there is good. Maybe a little bit more, and then we can just turn that on. As soon as it launches, you can see it's already correcting, so it's gonna aim that way. Right here, I have the monitor thing hooked up, so you can see it's just flying straight. And that right there, I, I don't know if you can see that, but there's the islands right there, which is where it's going. So it's just flying straight, cruising at a altitude of 200 meters, which is what we set it to. So as you can see, it's relatively straight. And it's not overreacting or anything. Uh, target is over here. I placed... Uh, yeah, there we go. So I placed a ship. Um, that ship's right here. That's going to be the target. It doesn't know there's a target over here. It just knows that it has come over here. So it's going to be flying over here as soon as it's within a certain range, which we have set as like, I'm pretty sure it's 2,000 of whatever that distance stuff is. It activates radar homing mode, which it just did right now. So now it's just controlled by the radar. And it's aiming down so it can hit the ship. Hey guys, hopefully that helped you better understand how GPS guided missiles work in Stormworks. I know it's a little confusing, and I'm not a total expert yet. I This is my first time building one of these things, and I didn't have a lot of help from tutorials, so I figured making one would help out a couple of people, you know. So if you guys see this, uh, thanks for watching. I really hope you did get something from this. If you have any questions or you're struggling with something, please let me know in the comments or something and i will get back to you as soon as possible um probably 20 ish minutes <laughs> um yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and it helped a lot if you have questions again let me know uh yeah have a great day